Welcome back everybody. I appreciate you being here. We have some housekeeping to do. So I have to add my new purchases, the Prostechias, into my Orchid album. I have this app on my phone. I also have another version on my computer, so I have double backup, even though they're not synced. However, I'm going to just do a walkthrough with my Orchid album app. No, I'm not getting anything about it, but you know, I've been mentioning it several times and seeing as I have some stuff to do in order to do the admin side of my Orchid collection, I thought maybe I'd take you along. So the Orchid album app is open and you can see everything is nicely in alphabetical order. And the beauty of this is that you can put in your crosses, for example. They, in the genus, the species, the hybrid one, hybrid two. You can put all the information in, what you are using, what the fragrance would be, where you got it from, date, purchase, etc., etc. All right, so this, pretty much when you go up to photos, you can see that I haven't had any pretty blooms, so I've taken a generic image. I have taken a picture of the plant as it arrived, and there was a little spent bloom, and I have not updated this just yet. But here you can add pictures, as in you can take a photo straight away, and it populates that field, or you can choose existing photos that you took previously. But that's not what we're here for. So top right, I go to add and I shall put in the name of my orchid. Making sure to spell it properly. Let's do Brassa Vole first. And then you can go into all kinds of details with the genus, with the crosses, as these are species, I don't need to do that. But let's just scroll down. This is the only tedious part. There's the correct spelling. See, somebody else already populated this, not me. But here's a correct spelling. And then done. If your genus is not in there, then it will be possible as you can see down here add new genus or edit a selected genus so basically i could take the prostechia that's misspelled and correct it i just took the one that was correct so you can add the species now in my case it's brassa vole and then this is what i'm going to do with my other orchid as well but not here not now but you can see how you can do the flowers and this, that, and the other. My source is Petrons. I always put that in because I don't always keep all my emails after a long period of time. I do some housekeeping on my computer as well. How many E's do these people have? Okay. And, um, but then this way I have a record of where I got them from. So the date acquired is not the date I purchased, it's when I receive them into my home. And then I put the price. And then I just repeat that because to be honest, I don't know what the value is of my orchid. Sometimes you get a bargain, but you know it was double the price. It can go and figure in that. So you can put the location height with all the other details, which I absolutely enjoy when it comes to container. You can have the mounted wired or it's in the ground option, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to have it potted. And then in the notes section, you can always elaborate on the progress of your orchid, either good or bad. And then I hit save. Now, in the statistics, there's another option that you can look. It does an, an accumulative count of your orchids. I have to add one more, so that'll bring it to 281. I don't really bother with watering schedules. Everything for me is as on an orchid basis. If I record that, I wouldn't get anything done and all day. My photos, it shows how many genera um, that I've got. 
that's because of all the fancy names, but if we go with the top five, you know, dendrobiums, cattleyas, etc. And then the total value, yeah, we've got that little icon there because, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really want to look at that either. So, <laughs> and on the bottom, you can also do some tools. I can back up my database to what I have already on my computer. So that's what I do um, occasionally just to verify that I've got all my orchids somewhat aligned. They're, they don't sync up, sync up with the cloud. I, I don't do that. But if one were to crash, I always have backup somewhere else. So that's here in the tools. And that's the orchid album that I use as an app to keep track of my orchids. All right, now we have to go and make a label. We have to make two labels, correction. And so let's go and do that. Okay. We have to go to our Dymo Connect label maker. And then the app is open. So now you can see all the options of creating labels. The blue mark is everything that you can create a label with. I have in my open labels stored labels that have been already customized for all my suppliers. So you can see them all here and clearly I have as yet not bought from patrons. So because I have a little structure already going, I'm going to just pick a label that was already created. This is my local garden center. And here I'm going to correct and put in my details of when I got my orchid. I like the size of this font, it works well onto my labels. And basically, I could go back to my app to copy and paste all the names. But because I only have two to do, three, sorry. Because I only have three to do, I'm only going to write them out for myself. Otherwise, I go to my app and I can copy and paste my names. And with that, it makes it all the more faster. But in this case, I'm not going to worry about it too much. There we go. That should be all right. And now, we can hit up on the top right hand corner. We should hit print. I like the look of the label itself. And now we should get a label out. And there it is. We'll do the other one while we're at it. Seeing as all the details are the same. And go with print. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> I hope it's not, it's a little bit better than watching paint dry. <laughs> And we have one more because the origin and the date is the same. I'm not using the same label for my other, other Mona Chica. Because that would not be correct. She is not from Gross Rechna Orchideen. Renanthera Mona Chica, Patrons Orchideen and Co. Received at home on the 9th of June. Sorry. Here we go. Now we have three. 
Okay, last thing to do on the app. I can go home, I can save, I can not save it, I can continue editing. As I'm not intending to buy from patrons again, I'm not saving a label for them specifically. Um, I'm just going to hit don't save because that restores my Agrojardin in Spain uh, default for my local garden center. And we're done with the label maker. We are not done with the label stone because coming to the screen near you are some labels. So let's get these, at least one, done. Let's take the Mona Chica. Yes, I favor my Mona Chica. And let's try and get this in focus. I cut the ends off because I don't like scrappy ends. And then we peel off the sticky bits and we stick it on a label, hopefully straight. Shiny new label, not straight. But you see, it comes off easily and we try again. It doesn't take me this long this no normally, but I I'm telling you I'm at an angle that is not conducive with sticking labels on a label straight. <laughs> there we go. All right. And that's how I make my labels. And that's ready to go in the pot. So thank you everybody very much for watching. I hope that this was somewhat interesting. It's not always all and only about what's happening in the pots, spikes and blooms, but this is my admin, my housekeeping. I appreciate your time and for being here watching a video like this. If you have any questions regarding what I've done, if I was too fast on one process, let me know. In the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.